if you are just joining us, here are the eight things you need to know today. Voters in House District 93 head to the polls today in a special election to replace Democratic State Representative Elizabeth Dickerson of Rockland. Dickerson resigned her office back in January, just months after being elected, saying she is moving out of state for personal and professional opportunities that developed after the election. Today, Portland City inspectors will be back at landlord Gregory Nisbet's Dartmouth Street property, making sure he's upholding his end of a deal to clean the place up. News 8's Norm Carcos is live in Portland with the latest for us. Good morning, Norm. And good morning to you, Megan. That's right. City inspectors were supposed to have checked on code violations here yesterday. However, no inspectors were available, so it was pushed back until today. Gregory Nisbet had until 5 p.m. yesterday to clean up piles of trash and debris, make sure smoke alarms were working, install a sprinkler head over the boiler, and give the city a list of all of his tenants. Nisbet, of course, hoping to resolve his legal dispute with the city as far as this property is concerned. Now, yesterday, Nisbet was cleaning up outside of his property here at 188 Dartmouth Street and did not want to speak on camera. However, he did tell News 8 that his tenants are responsible for creating what he called a dangerous living situation. Now, Dartmouth Street, the property here, is right around the corner from his Noy Street property where six people died in a fire last November. Reporting live here from Portland this morning, I'm Norm Carcos, WMTW News 8. State police now say one of the victims of yesterday's deadly crash near Caribou was just two years old. An SUV was attempting to pass a tractor trailer on Route 161 and hit a car head on. Right now, police are looking for the driver of the tractor trailer who they think may have not even noticed the crash. New this morning, the main nurse who defied a quarantine after returning from treating Ebola patients in West Africa is now leaving the state. Casey Hickox says she's moving Friday to accept a position with an Oregon health care system. Back in October, Hickox made national headlines when she fought a quarantine in New Jersey and then in Fort Kent. Hickox never showed symptoms of Ebola and eventually took her fight to court and won. Continuing in the eight things that you need to know today, 55 people injured when an Amtrak train slammed into a tractor trailer in North Carolina. Miraculously, nobody was killed. Witnesses say the truck's driver was driving to make a difficult turn when he got stuck on the tracks. He did manage to jump out of the way before the train hit. This, by the way, is the third serious commuter train crash in less than two months. Vice President Joe Biden slamming a group of Republicans for writing an open letter to the leaders of Iran, warning that they have to approve any nuclear deal. 47 GOP senators signed that letter, which is a reminder that President Obama's term ends in 2017, and a new president or Congress could change any deal that Obama has made. Republicans object to the proposal because it allows Iran to enrich uranium. And a racist chant caught on video by several members of a University of Oklahoma fraternity has led to the frat's banishment from campus. The university's president made the announcement on Monday, and now an investigation is underway to determine if the OU chapter of Sigma Alpha Epsilon violated Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, which prohibits racial discrimination. And lastly this morning, back here at home, Governor LePage will tap the Blaine House maple this morning to help bring in new maple sugar season. Yeah, it has been a particularly tough winter, as we know, for sugar houses across Maine as the cold temperatures made it difficult for maple trees to produce sap. Many sugar houses say that they are hopeful they'll be ready for Maine Maple Sunday that is coming up on March 22nd. Mallory, add some uh, blueberry pancakes and we'll be all oh, set. <laughs> I know. A lot of times it's everything a maple. You have maple cotton candy. Oh, my gosh. And then you have these maple dips. You can put pretzels in. Oh, it's great. So if that's what you're looking for,